Hey guys, check out where I am. I'm hanging out here in some water. I'm standing, it's probably shin deep. And what this place actually is, is a flooded farm field. You know, when we've had an unbelievable amount of rain this year in the springtime. And so every year this fills up with water and this year the water's a little higher than usual. But this place, every single year I come here, because it is like a mecca for amphibian breeding. Almost every species of frog we have here in Illinois breeds literally in this area. So what I've been doing, you know, at least once a week, every week since probably mid-early March, I've been coming out here and I've been listening for frog calls. And I'll wade out here in this water trying to pinpoint frog calls and sneak up on them and trying to get some decent video footage of these frogs calling. And so I've been freezing my butt off. I mean, sometimes it's been low 40s at night and I'm sitting here squatted down in this freezing water trying to hold the camera steady on some frog that might not call for another 45 minutes. I mean, some of these species really were reluctant to call in front of a camera. But I think we've got a pretty good collection of frog calls here. I mean, it's by no means complete. It's not every species of frog we have here, but it's a good variety of stuff that literally every single species is filmed right here, right in this area. So I hope you guys enjoy the frogs, uh, the shaky video footage, if there's any. I mean, you got to attribute that freezing my butt off out here. It's really cold. It was hard to keep a camera still. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy the frog calls. All right, so first up is the spring peeper. Now this guy's first in the video because he really is among some of the first frogs to call during the year. I mean they can be heard as early as February around here and I mean I'll tell you it truly is an icy experience trying to film these guys in you know low 40 degree weather. It's really a good example of how cold tolerant some amphibian species can be. Out of all the frogs in this area these guys have one of the most distinctive and easily recognizable calls. Alright, so next up, Western Chorus Frog. These guys like the spring peep are some of the first frogs to call during the season. And they actually can call from extremely large choruses upwards of more than 100 individuals. They very often share breeding ponds with the spring peepers, so in the videos you can probably hear spring peepers in the background. Alright, leopard frog. Talk about a difficult species to get to call on camera, man. These guys did not want to cooperate. And adding on to the fact that they start breeding around the same time as the spring peepers and chorus frogs, it was really hard because of those low temperatures. It was worth it though. These guys have one of my favorite frog calls in this area. One of the main differences you'll notice about leopard frogs is their vocal pouches are located on the sides of their head, kind of at the corner of their jaw instead of on their throat. American toad. Now this is an easy one. These are one of the most common amphibians in this area and starting at about April you can hear these calling from almost any water source in this area. Though I gotta say, when you try to get the close-ups, they are a little bit camera shy.
Okay, so next is the Fowler's Toad. And although he looks very similar to the American Toad, here you'll be able to see, or rather hear, the most prominent difference between the two species. Also notice the frog calls in the background have changed. We're no longer hearing the spring peepers and chorus frogs. As the year grows warmer and draws on through April into May, we're starting to hear an entirely new variety. Among some of these species that begin calling in late April, early May is this guy, the gray tree frog. Now this species very often calls from the edge of water or on partially submerged vegetation, but I thought it would be a little more appropriate to film a tree frog in a tree, so I actually climbed up in a tree to film this guy. This smaller species is called the northern cricket frog, and I'll tell you, don't judge a book by its cover, or maybe I should say don't judge a frog call by the size of the frog. This little guy has one of the loudest frog calls in this entire area. Ah, the bullfrog, one of the most common and easily recognizable frogs in this area. But despite how common they are, they're actually very difficult to film. The male bullfrogs are very territorial during breeding season, and so often, at one pond, there may be one or only two bullfrogs calling. The bullfrogs also have very good eyesight and hearing. That meant being very still and very quiet for long periods of time to get these guys to call in front of a camera. It really was a challenge. Okay, I saved the best for the last. This one is the Eastern Narrowmouth Toad, and I'm really excited about being able to film this one because it's a threatened species in Illinois. So aside from being extremely rare in the state, it's also very difficult to film these guys calling because when they call, they usually sit in water buried deep in some kind of vegetation, usually grass tussocks. And they sit real deep in there, and it's really difficult to locate them while they're calling. Filming these guys really was a blast. It was hard to keep from laughing the whole time I was filming them because these guys look so funny when they call. <laughs> 